Matt, uh, only three weeks ago we beat Wolves. Mm -hmm. uh, looked really good that night. Can you? Are you surprised that we've had such a bad run since then? What you put it down? Of course, to? yeah. Um, I don't think anyone saw after that game um, coming into coming off the back of a fantastic win. I don't think anyone saw six defeats at the next six games. Um, and it's difficult to put your finger on anything because um, I think I've said this point before. It's not as though we're getting beat four or five nil. Um, and if you were getting beat four or five nil, you start to, you know you'd be panicking at the moment. We're losing by the odd goal, um, which is becoming has become really tough to take, uh, obviously. So uh, from that point of view, I think there's plenty of stuff to be positive about. There's seven games to go. It's still all in our hands. You know, it's become a little bit squeaky now because you've you've put yourself in that position. But we're more than capable of getting ourselves out of it. Um, we all. <laughs> very chuffed to see Andy Drury back in training this morning uh, after missing him for the last two games uh, so that will be a big big plus for us and um, we have to remain positive because we know we're a good football team we've proved it um, countless times this season uh, and we have to prove it another few more times this season to, to you know get ourselves out of the little bit of a rut that we've got ourselves into but um, uh, you know you won't find any more positivity in that dressing room that will put it right I was going to say, I mean, confidence is not exactly going to be sky high after the run, but the mood seems fairly good. Yeah, because we know we can get ourselves out of it and we know we can go to any place uh, and and get results. Um, as I say, I'll reiterate, we know we're a good football team. We know we're, we've got really good players. Um, and for whatever reason, uh, you can label a load of excuses, but for whatever reason, um, it hasn't panned out in the last four, five, six games the way that we'd want it to, but you're only a victory away from putting things right. So we, the, the first opportunity, uh, which is tomorrow, hopefully we'll get that and then we can really you know, push on and finish the season on a high. That's our ambition. MK Doms came here on Boxing Day, 1-2-0, mm -hmm. and it was quite a tight game to be honest. Uh, yeah. Just reading now that uh, there's only going to be three of those players that were in their team who are playing tomorrow because a lot of them were on loan, players like Bamford and stuff. So. Yeah. Chance for us to get a result up there, definitely. I mean, on Boxing Day, I think it was uh, there. I think it was Gleeson. He scored a fantastic goal, and uh, and then Bamford was clinical at the other end to to make it two 0 That was the difference between the two teams on the on the day. Uh, I don't think there's much between the two teams, uh, in my opinion, at the moment. Um, they'll be looking to get into that top six, of course they will. But uh, we don't think we're far off a team capable of of challenging for them places ourselves. So. Uh, we go into the game with nothing to fear, a fantastic uh, stadium, we, we love playing there, uh, hopefully there'll be, I hear the prices are a bit cheaper for the game, so hopefully there'll be a good following for us as there was against Brentford, it was, it was, uh, it was really fantastic um, and we hope for that again uh, and we hope to give them a smile and put a smile on their faces as we leave because uh, it's a great place to go and play and a great place to get a victory. First of four games in ten days. I mean, yeah. we're talking about the schedule being heavy in the last few weeks. I mean, it's now getting really intense, isn't it, over over Easter? It is, but then your season's finished, so you, you've uh, you've got to soak it all up and enjoy it all because um, in no time, in three weeks' time, it'll be you know that'll be it. So um, I certainly won't be complaining about the the schedule or the fixtures. I'll be doing everything I can to to feel right in those games and get get uh, the recovery done and all of that. I'll be feeling doing everything I can. Because, as I say, there's three weeks to go, uh, so it's not much of a sacrifice to get yourself right. What's it going to be like seeing Richie Barker in the uh, opposition dugout on yeah, Saturday? Yeah, odd. Um, I suppose it will be odd. Uh, again, you're not going to care. I don't. Who cares? I don't. You know, it's uh, a game. We still got to go there and win. But it will be odd, and it'll be nice to say hello because uh, I don't think anyone really got to uh, before we left. So I'm sure we'll say hello, and uh, and hopefully we'll we'll be saying goodbye with a victory.